Abusia for your mama kwaba strong kokra ebe counselor time with counselor D Y Donko. Come here na yenye efutu every the nation's counselor. Mama Aquina, okay. It's a uh, join me as I read um, the first story. I say hello, Auntie Valerie and uh, counselor. You two are amazing, uh, but I am in an abusive marriage. I don't know who to talk to, or how to share this. Now, my family won't believe me if I continue to tell them that this is exactly what my husband is doing. My husband is the sweetest person on the outside, but when he gets angry, he has to lay a finger. He believes that just like the Bible says that you spare the rod and spoil the child, the woman is part or is on this table. My husband will rip me at the slightest provocation. I am not somebody who talks back or decides to yell. But immediately he gets angry. He sees it prudent to actually pick the nearest object and hit me with it. Now, the issue here is he comes back and apologizes and tells me that I pushed him to do what he is doing at this particular point in time. He's sorry. He showers me with gifts. I am tired. Five years, a daughter, I want out. But my family keeps on telling me that what will the church say? What will people say? What will my friends say? Five years and I am out. They feel it is not right. But I am afraid that the next time is going to be my life. Honestly, I am super scared. I am not joking when I say the slightest thing provokes him and he's willing and ready to beat the living hell out of me. Counselor, how do I go about this? Because he doesn't look like it. He's the most amazing person and my family's favorite. I'm dying. Uh, yeah. And was Sunday message here, but say, Okumbun. Yeah. Uh, the buyer was born on me. Why I said now I don't care, but was born. Now was born, but she doesn't even know who to talk to, because for her I think she feels like if you go and talk, number one, in the name of you are Christian, number two, people will rather spread the news instead of saving you. So let's think about that. A lot of people are abused; they don't know who to talk to because they are living under this kind of fear. They are intimidated that whoever you talk to might go ahead and spread the news instead of saving you from, you know, what you are going through, the predicament, the ordeal, the, the problem. Until what is going to happen is this. Maybe our society in TMA. Waba wawadi a TMA. Behman so wawadi a boy in TMA. It doesn't matter what the wife does. If you think what she's done or what she's doing, a male, what bread? You cannot handle it. You cannot keep it anymore. The best thing you do, report to the parents of the woman or catch her in the soba, park on your mako. Send a bay of me from his son count, no men born, or the idea of Oyen, and then the Awaye, and then the Awoyen, Macumen to me, and the park you call. Now the Afua no toss of me jow. National one park and co. Na wa ma mini papa frewa wa ko ya no se bo ba no se bi se di se no ya me pesa me bo no but you see no matter what a wife does the husband has no right and i repeat a husband you see when we talk about husband a husband is not an ordinary man he's a house band somebody who is able to put a house, house together. together so if you are a threat to break a house you are not a husband you are a threat mm. number two lesson a husband should be mature enough to understand that I am a caretaker. I am the provider of the house. I am the one to secure and to protect my house. Therefore, if you cannot protect, but you decide to tear the house apart, you've lost your authority as a man. Your glory and your honor as a man at the point what 
to me a and my back come you ra, a bayera. Only me send you a to me a juma. Now, if you abuse the power that has been entrusted into your hands, the slaves become your master, the master becomes a slave. Mm. The power given to you is not enough until wisdom is applied to power. But you are to me, not Sabi Wedimu, when Jimia, to me, you refuse him, a good yak wants him. Tell our Borocas Aqua, I will name the right. See, dear Japadia, and I will. A marble free Japadia and India. Now, when you say Japadia and India, Barbara Sakwa to me for. Do I be diso, no, no, Aquano, or be yet a departing, not dear. Where on the end of the Anno, or no more than you are called to us, is rather controlling the person who is supposed to handle the will, take the will, or whatever property belongs to him or her. It, what I am saying is that, Baba be a Jimmy, Okokunya, and Yawa Yeresu. Listen where and listen. Okokunya, and Yawa Basso. And our Kokunya, Mepacho, don't be a husband. Now, I wonder how some men are able to do this. Listen, how do you exercise patience to raise a child? Yet you don't have patience for a wife. Mm. And yet then a bofra say between me trying to raise her or to raise whoever him. Na me ni ako mama waba when you sabi sabi wa misram we yere Jimmy a we Jimmy say. Tia si you we yere we Jimmy we Jimmy a we Jimmy say. You can't compare the maturity of a wife to a child. And yet for a child you are able to accommodate her, mm. you are able to accept her for who she is, for who it is, whether a child trained to, whatever, you don't care. Especially when you are in love with your daughter or son. When Jimmy said cry, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why? Because you feel like she doesn't deserve the beating, but at the end of the day, you don't know how much more a wife who is mature who has given birth for you. Mm. So what I am saying to the, you know, to our generation is that please, we are bare makunu. Now, Kukunya, men found some bodgery, and ya jawa dear, and then ya manenko, and then ya pure free fee, Kuchu Babanu Akuma Bafo. But then you should also understand that a husband is somebody who is mature. A husband is somebody who is a priest. A husband is somebody who is a protector. A husband is somebody who should rather bring shelter over the family. So if a husband loses his temper and all he can do is to keep beating the wife, please, you are not a husband, you are still a boy. It means that emotionally you are not mature. And so, people are lady, no, so just yes, you are both We are dead. There should be somebody you must talk to. Mm. Society should not embrace abuse and look at it from the point of me. So, I could borrow a truck one fairly bad that the new Gassia should be important to you. Please come out, talk to somebody. What to me, I'm bombing this woman in my quatcher. I'm bombing him a moja free. You will be got a son, make a your elder or your deacon or your pastor. It is said, Yes, I fought in the battle of Boba or I do it. Because who Tia was it? What a bono, a idea or tire. I had the buffer, TV a bram, full a bram, bottle a bram. Daco or she bought to not the ball, brana, and on a pire when you must some. Just a free and free. Listen to the wisdom. Mm. So why would you want to wait to get to the edge of dying, the place of death, before somebody is being you know, communicated to? So please, what I am saying is that, number one, a mature husband, a man, should not touch the wife. Sure. Regardless of whatever is it triggering your, your, your anger, don't don't touch your wife. Let the anger come, but then find a way to handle it. Go out, let her go, leave her, divorce her. Okay, fine. It's your issue, your choice. But to stretch your hands, no matter as a wife, when you are beating, look for a particular person that can be trusted. At this point, you don't care who trusts you, who you trust. Somebody must hear you. So what I'm saying is that peace. Please find somebody trust talk to. Mm. At a point in time, you don't even need anybody to talk to. You don't just talk to somebody. I hope you understand. The part of what I am going to be in Casa, we are going to be in Casa, we are going to be in Casa, but we are going to be in Casa. And I don't say that, oh, Ferry, oh, Pesce, I'm going to be in Casa. I'm going to be in Casa. I'm going to be in Casa.
Okay, so then that's the first story and kind of the next story. Hello, Auntie Valerie, counselor. Uh, please, I need help, and I know that counselor's wisdom is going to go a long way for me. Now, um, Valerie, the thing is, I have lost both parents. And I'm dating this guy right from the onset. I told him that this is the situation I find myself in. That the aeroplane that brought me into this world, they've all taken off. I am not alone. I have just one single sibling, a baby brother. Now, this boyfriend has been good up until recently. Now, when issues come up, he insults me by my dead parents. He tells me that my parents were good for nothing, and that is how come I am what I am. And if they lived their life well, <laughs> I wouldn't be where I am, or they wouldn't have died earlier. Good people do not die. This thing scarred my heart. He came back to apologize. But the pain I feel after he said this, I tell you, I don't know what to compare to it. When I see him, I get bitter. When I see him, sometimes, in our solemn moments, tears start to flow. Auntie Valerie, this man has his mother alive and his father too. Am I making the right decision to live with somebody who is taking advantage of the fact that my parents are not alive? How far would this go? In cases, there are issues, who am I going to talk to? They say that when your mother dies, or when your family dies, everything dies. I don't want to believe this, but I am stuck, I am broken, and I am hurt. Counselor. How many years have they dated? They've dated for one and a half years. And the lady doesn't seem to understand the man anymore. Mm. It's like where they are driving the relationship to, right? A 10-year nearby, you know. Yeah. A, 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 a canon. Yeah. Okay, so let's understand this. Number one, relationship itself is a work. You can't have... You see, we are, we are imperfect people. Yeah. No matter how many hours you speak in tongues and pray, and you are endowed with the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, you can still be perfect. At a point in your time, at a point in your time, and yet they are said we in the power form because you are human. You want form because you are human, then you are like God. And you can't share the glory with your life with God. Nobody shares his glory. Now, please, let's understand this. If a relationship is work and we are not perfect, then you need to understand that there are issues to deal with. True. And see, who can put a man your wife who can Mr. Right to be in the home? The whole your right to cry the Juma one home. So, so therefore, you need to understand number one, relationship is work. Number two, relationship is a team work. For us to be able to understand ourselves in the mono, somebody will agree and somebody will disagree. True. And to agree and disagree is not an insult. To agree and disagree doesn't make you less. To agree and disagree doesn't mean you are not sensible. True. But rather, I just want to operate with myself. Come with yourself. Be authentic. Let's put ourselves on the table. Weigh us. Weigh your sex, me your five. We balance it. And then we are able to get 11. And so once we are able to get it like that, so we are able, and that is what we call partnership, partners. This is your partner, this is your partner, and yet business in your It means that when you are weak, I hold you. Yeah. When you are strong, I am with you. True. When I am also weak, you are there for me. Now I come back. Me kasana mano afum ana maye wo. There are two people we are going to deal with, the matured and the immature. We are going to deal with somebody who is very sensitive emotional and somebody who is very tough emotionally. This lady falls in the angle of very sensitive, very emotional. Okay, so as I'm not going to kind of shino, a runner come a runner more man now. Am I going to marry such a person? Now, young wadi impun wait me do my ten months him say. Any am a wadi no be day. So how sensitive she is is what is causing the problem. Because the same at the dia guy in the dinner. Ube do a baby sa at him. No, 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 no. Jack, ube pa chwa no dia chwa. Let's move on, Jack. Ya ko ya him as a rasta wana kume. We need time, sir. Ube also as as him. They be tuya taking ten years of her life. Wa wadi no kwe wieni na wo three four. That should be akasaka sesi wa wadi. No ano kosep. Wasu kai se ten years ago. June, July 22nd, 
It was Sunday. Who can say no sooner and worry? Who do my ten men over Pamicho after one week? Stan, I worry after ten, what's I am beside and there be a man, baby. I am me, yeah. So the moment they talk about it, they are telling you that even those is too unfriendly or any, yeah. Now, if you are able to keep this bitterness to the next ten years, it doesn't affect the man who affected you, it affects the one who is keeping the bitterness. So, one, forgive, let it go. Number two, look at the guy. Is this somebody who is abusive by words? Verbally. Verbally. Mm. Or you'll be, a, you'll be an honor all the time. Mm. If it is yes, then it means that this guy has an emotional problem in terms of anger. If it is you know, and you know him to be gentle, but something happened and it triggered his anger and abba, or by your faction, but this time you, you lay back, watch him from afar, so that you can be able to weigh his or her emotions, you know that guy is an or thing, yes, an or thing. Who is, who am I dealing with? So that no one, you know, it, it, it should not be like, maybe I don't come in with red flags and the cocoon, yeah? And I'm a wadden, no. No. So I'm saying to this lady, forgive. Yeah. Let it go. Take your time. And they study him where our issues with anger. And I want to say, some of the bad, the bad, the The last one I want to talk about is, she's complaining that no wadden one, not some bad one, no cobona man here. Your biological parents are not the only parents you have. There are many parents around you. True. Look for one mentor. Look for one parent. Take them serious. Complain. Talk to them. When you are emotionally broken into pieces and you are down, go to them and take them as your parents. Mm. Thank you.